And we're here with Coach Marty Rowe after his Lady Flames get the victory over Valdosta State tonight. And, Coach, I know you challenged your team this week in practice uh, after a tough road trip, uh, you know, getting the win over Christian Brothers and then uh, dropping the game on Saturday to Union. How did you think your team responded? I'm sure you were pleased with the effort tonight, but also the execution, and that's yeah. something that you mentioned over the weekend. Well, I mean, you know, we ex our expectations to play that way. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, there's no, um, you know, playing that hard and that, that, with that much urgency and that much pride is is not what – it's what's expected. And, and, and that's what the program's built on is those expectations of playing that hard. And then when you put the execution and all that back into it, then we become a really good basketball team. And I thought we defended. We've been a bad defensive team. I mean, we have. I mean, just, just to be honest, we've been soft. I really challenged our forwards. I really challenged our guards with ball pressure. And they came through. I mean, we played really a good team. That's a good team. Valdosta State's excellent. I mean, we came after them hard. They 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 came right back at us, and then we controlled the second half on both ends of the court. I thought Harris was awesome. That's the best game. She had nine assists, but Aaron really stepped up and, and did some things. But we got a lot of production from a lot of people. Tori had a great week of practice. Listen, you know what? You want to be rewarded? Have a great week of practice. Tori Lentz had a great week of practice. Didn't play against Tor uh, Christian Brothers in Union. Could have pouted. Came out. Great week, earn playing time. We want people to earn their minutes, and I thought tonight we did that. And then our bench was terrific. You know, I mean, everybody was into the game, coaching staffs, and and uh, so it, it, it's the way we want to play, and we got to keep it going. This is our expectation level for this team. Well, and you mentioned keeping it going because the road doesn't get any easier. No. As we know, in the Gulf South Conference, West Florida, very good team, will come into town on Saturday. Your thoughts leading into that game? Well, it's going to be tough because they didn't play tonight. I mean, the, the shorter they, – they postponed their game till Monday because of finals, which is not um, – you know, which is which is not ideal for us, them coming in. But they do have to travel seven and a half hours up there, and we're at home. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, you know, Valdosta has got to go to shorter we and, 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 and play. And then, you know, West Florida's coming up here. So we're looking forward to that challenge. They're big and strong and physical, just like uh, Valdosta is. Uh, probably a little bit more athletic on, out on the perimeter. So uh, we'll have to defend and, and play. If we play with this kind of energy and urgency, we got a chance to be in every basketball game. And so uh, we'll look forward to the challenge. We knew this was going to be a tough week, and uh, but it's the kind of week that we were looking to have, and we got off to a good start. Coach, we'll look forward to Saturday. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Man. Appreciate it. Lady Flames now move to 2-1 and one in the Gulf South Conference. They'll take on West Florida Saturday afternoon right here at Walk Arena at 2 p.m.